first of all, we've given we've been given this address, and this is a harder subnet mask range. But I'm going to take the same approach and show you that you don't really have to change much to get the right answer. Okay? So I've got my binary place values up here too. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I, I need to find the way my methodology. I got to find what is the magic number. So the first thing I do is I'm going to write out that slash 22 in binary. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need to add two zeros here, dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there is the subnet mask in binary. And once again, for those people who are watching, each one of these is a bit. That's eight bits, right? And these are the binary place values, right? It goes from two to the zero, which is over here, which is one, to two to one, that's two, two to the two, that's the two to the two's place, that's a four, all the way up to two to the seventh power, which is 128th place. All right, now a couple things about this. Uh, first of all, you have to count in binary and be able to count this up to place in your subnet mask. So what is my subnet mask? in dotted decimal, it's 255.255.252.0. How did I get that? 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 is 252. All right, now another thing that's important here is that the zeros represent hosts, the ones represent the network. So what that means is, is that this 137 is pure host. Right? And so the host is all the way over here, right? What, what octet we're working with in our subnet is the third octet, not the fourth octet, right? So um, that's important to know. Now, the magic number is the place value of the last one. And the last one is in the fours place, right? 128, 64, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4. So the last one is in the fours place. So the magic number is a four, okay? So that means the networks go up by four. So it's really easy. Now all we have to do is say 146.24, and since our subnets are going to be in the third octet, I put a zero here and then another zero. So this is our first network, okay? That's our first network. Copy. Our next network is four. Our next network is, and did I put the four in the right place? Did I put the four? I did not put the four in the right place. The four goes where? Here. So I'm already almost able to make a mistake, right? Where are the subnets going up by four? right here in the third octet. So 0, 4, 8. You can see how easy that is to make a quick mistake and forget what you're doing. Lose your head. 12, right? 16, right? The next network would be what? 20, okay? And then the next one would be what? 24. So these are all the networks. Now, we need to get all the way up here to 14624.what? 16, okay? So we can see here, this is the network right there. 16.137, right, is the network. Because I mean, 16.137 tells us where the network is. The network 16.0, that's the network address. The range is going to go all the way up to... It's going to go all the way up to 19.255, 146.24.19.255, all right? Why? Because 16.137 is in between 16.0 and 20.0. Guess what I just did? I found the range. So guess now I found what? The network address. The network address is... 
146.24.16.0. What is the broadcast address? Well, the next network is 20, so this is going to have to go all the way up to 19.255 before we get to the end, right? That's the end of the range. Now, what's the first usable host? First usable host is going to be, of course, dot one. What's the last usable host? Well, that's going to be 19.254. How many hosts in the network? If we had a normal slash 24 network, And what I mean by normal is I mean normal class C. If we had a 255.255.255.0, right, how many hosts do we have? 256 hosts, 254 usable, right, or 2 to the 8th power. So if this is 256 hosts, then this is 512 hosts, and this is 1,024 hosts, or 2 to the 10th power. It doubles each time. So that's really easy. I say, okay, 1,024 hosts minus 2 because we want to, they probably want how many usable hosts usually in the question. So you say 1,022 usable hosts. Can't use the network number, can't use the broadcast number, right? Why did I do minus 2? Can't use the network. The network number is reserved and the broadcast number is reserved. No host can have those numbers, all right? Now, is this a host network or broadcast address? Well, 16.137 is not the network, and it's not the broadcast, so it's a valid host address. What is the next available network? Well, you just count them up. 16, the next network was, let's get rid of this for right now, the next network was 20. So there I have it. And there's all your answers. I tried to list out the um, networks in going across from left to right just so I could keep the numbers on the screen and make it easier. But personally, it's always easier for me when I list out the networks like this. It just so happens visually it makes more sense to me.